What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another part of our 1212 Medieval Kingdoms Total War campaign as the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Um, last part, as uh, hopefully you've watched, uh, if not go and check that out, we uh, got dragged into a war against the, <clears throat> against the Seljuks. Uh, and uh, well, they are now besieging the Kingdom of Silesia down I'm with a with a pretty sizable force of ten. Uh, I don't think they can. Oh, actually, I don't know. That garrison is pretty weak. Um, but anyway, I have decided that I'm going to send yeah. this fleet. Well, not this fleet. This army uh, to go and sit offshore. And um, well, actually, I'm going to probably get it offshore next turn, and then onto land, and then to attack this army, and the scourge of Christianity. Because we cannot have the scourge of Christianity damaging us and then I may go on and campaign up here and take some cities but I, I don't know it's hard to then keep them all connected but we'll see um, I could uh, put some food stuffs in here but right now we're okay on food 65 is okay um, and same here I might just save up for a castle instead um, that may be the, the way to go about it I think um, the crusade has also started uh, not met a few people have joined the Kingdom of France, the Holy Roman Empire, and the Kingdom of Hungary are in. I'm gonna join eventually, um, but I'm just waiting on like some, just some some forces to be here to help me I, because I don't want to stand alone to start with. This army could probably handle itself pretty well, but I mean I could do with a few more swords. Um, but apart from that, I think we we'd be okay. We could handle ourselves. Anyway, I'm gonna end the turn and we'll see what happens. I'd also just like to thank everyone for uh, support on the past video. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the Let's Play as uh, so far we are only into the second episode. There is a long way to go still. I've got to take another 16 settlements to found the Empire of the Outer Rima. But uh, I think we can do it. We can. The UU bids can certainly help. Oh, here we go. So the Seljuks are going to relieve the siege. So I don't actually need to go that way anymore. So we can change our plan there. Um... I would like to take the, some of the Seljuk lands. I'd also like to take uh, some of the Empire of Nicaea's lands. Certainly Rhodes would be nice. I'd, uh, that being a Crusader uh, city eventually. That would be nice to take. The faction destroyed the Latin pretenders. The Mongol invasion has happened. The word has arrived of a great power rising in the east. One that is determined to conquer or destroy all of it in its war path. The Mongol army is a terrifying force to behold, consisting of large amounts of light cavalry that provide their armies with extraordinary mobility. The Mongols also employ weapons in their armies that are yet unheard of in Europe and the Near East. To those opposing them, only one thing is clear. Surrender or be destroyed. And apparently I've encountered the Latin pretenders as they died. Um, so, yes, and not really much else I can recruit. I could get more cavalry. Um, I'd rather not. I may just save the rest of my uh, my I don't know my troops uh, I may just put this army just back into into uh, into Farmagusta because I mean they're looking after Atalia pretty well which is the other which is the certainly the one I'd like to take uh, this is my main target because then I could then use it as a nice stopping off point for roads and then I control like this just uh, this whole sea area around like Cyprus and it protects Cyprus um, and also then I've got two allies here that are also protecting Cyprus from this direction um, I think I'm just going to put them back into port here keep the happiness up um, and yeah there's not much I can really recruit here I'd like to get some sort of uh, recruitment going on here I think or maybe a sanitation would be kind of happy it would kind of help uh, with the whole the whole like um well just health health problems we've got going um and i think oh we nearly have enough for a castle we're not quite enough let's see if we can get any diplomacy going um i don't know if we can we're loved by just about everyone in europe which is good um defensive alliance yes i mean that's fine. I mean, welcome, people attack me welcome, now. There's at least a, one or two people that can attack me. Well, help me. Not attack me, thank God. Um, yeah, that, that's deteriorating. I'm not surprised. Uh, Non-aggression. No, I'm not surprised either. But we're trading, so they probably won't attack. The AI is probably going to think, well, it's not economical for us to... Well, actually, they may not think that. They may just think, well, we can afford to take that city. They're also recruiting a lot of troops to Jerusalem. 
probably in uh, preparing us for the crusade. I don't know if anyone's actually going to turn up to the crusade. I mean, France and who remember I've got a long way to go. Um, but yes, I I'm an antagonist of the of the Saracens, so they hate me by minus forty. That's not great. So I've got to obviously get on good terms with everyone around me. Who are these guys? Are oh, they just spear shot sergeants? They look awful. They look terrible. Um, but I mean, they've got some cool looking crossbows. Crossbows early, Templar crossbows, and they've got some uh, sergeants. But I mean. Uh, we probably could go for Homs. We could possibly take that. I don't know if I really want to. And I could possibly sweep up to Aleppo. But I then leave myself open. And I really obviously want to go for Jerusalem. I want to take that back. And then Damascus, we take that. That's a huge hit for the Muslims. That being one of their holy cities as well. Um, and if you took Alexandria, again, great. But I mean, it's a long way to go. That's a lot of stuff. We're going to need to build some strong and good armies if we're going to do that. And I think we'd have to expand up here into the Seljuks just to give ourselves, um, like, just some support in then a campaign south. Or deal, or taking out the Empire of Nicaea. Some of their land would be handy. They're only allied with the Bulgarians. I mean, they're trading with a few others, but we are as always and a welcoming ever so slightly, I think, got the edge on them. I could certainly take their first seat. I'd have to use this army to go over there to deal with it because, um, well, this army needs to be constantly here just in case that the Muslims do attack. But anyway, I'm going to end the turn instead of wittering on. I know I've not really done a lot there, but it's kind of a waiting game. I'm always got to wait until the Muslims make the first move or the Christians turn up and then I can join in the war. But until I see actually any French or Holy Roman Empire armies here, I really can't do anything. Or Hungarian, even a Hungarian army over here. I doubt they're going to turn up. I just... It's not the same as when... Oh, Atalaya's been vacated. Uh, maybe a chance to go in. They've also expanded Atalaya. Um, if I was going to attack Atalaya, though, I'd need to just build some more army, some more units up, some just trash stuff, just to give numbers. Oh, they're besieging it. Interesting. Um, oh, duty calls. Damn. Um, okay, well, I don't want you. An attacker, possibly, or melee. I might go with... Uh, what's his loyalty like? I don't know. We're going to go with Ferdinand. Jean has died. That is sad to see. Which? Oh, he's part of the Brave Heroes. No, so... my Oh, my king's still alive. That's fine. I don't really know why you're in charge of this army, but anyway... Um, I could try and adopt him. I have... Oh, damn. Well, you need to marry someone, really. Um, Ferdinand, can I not adopt you? Have I not got any support? Yeah, I'm not surprised. Influence is pretty low. Um, I could recruit some pretty trash Maronite spears. Um, and just then go for it. But I'm just going to try and... I might just risk it and see if I can get over there. That's four... Um, yeah, I think I could possibly attack in next turn. So we'll try that. We'll, we'll send out the army. Now let's build a castle. Excellent, right. So we've got a castle on the way now. So what does the castle allow, allow us to do? That allows us to provide garrison uh, of more troops. Um, and we're also then able to recruit Turkopoles, which are like uh, missile cavalry, dismounted Poulet knights, which is going to be excellent. Well, they look like they'll probably be pretty good. Foot Turkopoles, so they're like a Turco poles, that's it, not tu Tuca poles, Turco poles, and uh, Poulet knights. So that's good. We're gonna need, gonna need all of those units, certainly to uh, bulk out uh, like the roster that we can really put out. Because I really don't really, I want to get rid of these guys, um, certainly, and I want to put some better stuff in. Some dismounted Poulet knights would be handy. Um, if we can't get more dismounted um, Templars and Turk um, Poulet knights would be certainly excellent. Right, so. Can I do any diplomacy? I don't think so. Georgia, I could welcome, probably do stuff with them. Welcome, I actually can't friend. trade with them. Arrange a marriage. To you and give tongue to the people's words. Um, yeah, sure, marry her off to whoever. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that, but... Oh, well. Marry her to him. Yeah, that's fine. They can have some sort of alliance going on. I don't really care. That's fine. Um, she's, she's not... My heir. Actually, my heir is dead. God damn it. Who is then my faction heir? I need to kind of adopt someone. Maybe Ferdinand. Actually, his loyalty is not very good. 
None of these guys have great loyalty, actually. Um, but he could go for that. So I'm going to put him in. And I'll put this chappy in here as well. Why not? Let's do that. Why not? Let's give them some positions. Get some a few more bonuses. And then I can try and adopt them and make them a bit better. Um, money from the Pope. We need... I'm pretty sure we need to have a bit more standing. We need to have, like, eight standing. It's not actually telling me what I want now. Here we go. I'm pretty sure I need eight standing or something like that. So I've got five. I need like seven or seven or eight. And no mercs still around. So end the turn. If I could get some mercenaries, that'd be even better. Uh, there's three armies now in Jerusalem. This is not a good sign. I possibly want to bring that other army back. I, certainly with the garrison and the two armies, they definitely can't take uh, Acre from us. So. Or Acre, however you say it. Acre, Acre. I'll probably get told by at some point how to say it. There's so many nations to go through. Here we go. Rum has sent its army back. Um, it's the balance of power is slightly in my favour, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> so they they defeated clearly defeated the uh, the rebels. And they've either died or something's happened. I might just see if I can um, sneak in and take the settlement still. It's worth a try. If not, I might just have to buy, like I said, a load of trash infantry in Cyprus. Um, or I could build a load of crap infantry in uh, Accra. Seljuk Pretender's dead. Yep. Noble Birth. Antoinette. Um, political Favours. Well, I did want him to be appointed that. I'm pretty sure, Jean. Um, yeah, there you go. And yeah, have that. There you go. So let's see. What is the garrison looking like? It's possibly a little strong. Can I not just attack the port? I'm pretty sure I can just attack the port. This is going to be me constantly for the next couple of turns. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, their army's still there. Um, we're going to go back then. <laughs> Run away, is what I would say. Run away. Um, I'm going to go with authority for my king, and then also zeal, possibly. Maybe more authority, or maybe some research. Cunning, what would that help with? Uh, yeah, we'll go with a bit of cunning. Bit of cunning. Um, we might as well force. Mm, actually, there's no point. Um, this army. Nah, still. I didn't expect anything different. So, how many troops are they here now? I mean, we're about 15, 12. Um, oh god, there's a lot. <laughs> there's there's going to be a lot. Um, as this, the Crusades yet to actually appear still as well. Um, so, I mean. Oh, we finally encountered the Holy Roman Empire. Have they turned up by any chance? I wonder if they have. We offer you honest welcome. Um, well, I'm going to just do a non-aggression because just in case guest. you just do wander over here. Where is the Holy Roman Empire then? Why have have I encountered them, but then they've they're not on the map? They're not on the map, but I've encountered them apparently. They should be here. Oh, okay. Apparently I just can't see them. Be but I've encountered them. Your words will right, so there we go. Um I will do that. I could do defense appliance. So yeah, I've encountered them sort of, but I their icons not on the map. So I think they are coming. So I might want to then get I might want to get ready and start uh preparing for a crusade. How many more turns till the thingy is ready? Five turns. The thingy, the castle. You know, those things that we have uh, in this time period, Pope. Kind of major things. Um, I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to see whether... Uh, I'm going to probably bring that fleet back. I may start a, a war for Homs then. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get... The Seljuks just don't look like they're going to be moving anytime soon. It may be an idea to join the Crusade and go to war with the uh, Ayubids. 
because they they keep building up. They they clearly have a lot of money and funds and armies. They could just do anything. So, I think the longer I leave it, the worse it's going to be. The Seljuks have cleared off. The Empire of Trebizond wants trade. I'll give it to them because actually they are at war with Nicaea. I could go to war. I guess I could just take Rhodes. It wouldn't be the end of the world. Roads would be handy. But at the end, it's something that I've got to defend from Atalea. I really need to take Atalea out before I take it. I might just leave it for now. It's a, just another outpost that I've got to try and defend, which is just nowhere to be. It mission issued, be at war with the Ayubids within 10 turns, and I get Catholic support. Well, I'm going to do it eventually. So we will do it. Denmark is at war with the Holy Roman Empire. So that's probably not going to help in um, going to on Crusade. I'm not going to lie. Um... I think I'm going to go for this one, Siege Holdout Time, just in case that we have to worry about a siege here. Um, I mean, I really hope we don't have to. I'm going to put you back into there. Um, I could do food, I guess, but I mean, it doesn't really like make much of a difference. Let's just recruit a load of rubbish troops. Um, and then I guess I could do food here. So we and it would also then help with money as well. A little bit. Um a cattle herd possibly. Cattle herd is actually the one that gives us the most money. And gives us a reasonable amount of food. But it does plus to the squalor. I'll do cattle herd. We'll spend our spend our money somewhere. Because we aren't able to buy any mercenaries as of yet. I don't know if there are mercenaries yet in the game, to be fair. They may not be. May not be. Are, by any chance, Venice at war with the Empire of Nicaea? Yes, they are. They're gonna. So Venice is going to take Rhodes, by the looks of it. Whatever happens. I mean, I don't know if I'm happy about that or not. But, uh, well, we can always take it from Venice if needs be. I'd like, I'd like Rhodes, but if you can't get it, we can't get it. Um, and then I guess I could just get rid of these guys now. And then I might replace them straight away with some Templar Spears. Yeah, let's do that. I'll get one anyway. Get get one, and then we'll re start replacing these guys, because I'm sick of seeing them. They're not actually going to help. Get some Templar Spears in, and they can... They'll certainly hold better than uh, those marionette guys, or whatever they are, they're called. But anyway, guys, if you're enjoying the video and you want to see more of this Let's Play, then please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to hit 600 uh, subs, and we are very, very close at the moment, and uh, it would be great if we could get there before Christmas. Um, that would uh, that would make Christmas uh, for me. But, I mean, uh, yeah, so if you're enjoying, then please leave a like and sub if you want to see more. To join the Papal Legion as we try and defend Christianity in the Near East. And it seems like there's more Muslim factions than there were at the beginning of this game. A noble birth, Alice. Stop having... You've had three daughters now. Please, I'm begging. I'm begging. Have a male. A male heir. We need one. To carry on the dynasty. Not quite sure what our dynasty is. I think it's... Oh, I did know what the dynasty was called, but I can't remember now. Uh, anyway, that's two. That's two. Okay, so the Ayubas have sent a fleet, uh, an army all the way over here. Are they going to try and just, I don't know, go for... <laughs> Are they going to go to Germany themselves? I don't know. Um, quite possibly. So there we go. You can see the Holy Empire now. They are at war with, obviously, with the Ayubids, with the Seraphid, Seraphate of Mecca. Are they by any chance, is the Seraphate of Mecca possibly also at war with anyone that's defending in... Yeah, so yeah, they they basically made them a vassal, so you would go to war with them, you go to war with the Mecca people. Okay. Interesting. Thessalonica, we've Be got welcome. stuff with you, that's talk. fine. Um, I'm pretty sure we're on fairly good terms Hail. with everyone around here. Should be on good terms with these guys, but apparently we're not. Well, actually, here we are. We're improving. We're going up. That's fine. Uh, Commune of Milan. Trade. No. 
I don't really want to listen to what you've got to you say. I just want to see if we can get trade. There you go. Let's have some non-aggressions. No real need to have them, but just in case. It's more of an insurance. Now, there's, a, there's also enough people now, certainly in uh, this part of the world, that is going to defend me if I get attacked by this uh, Ubids. But it's just whether where I'm going to attack. I probably should try and... I could go for the Seljuks. Um, I'd like to. I'm certainly just waiting to see whether I can... I need to get a castle still. Get a castle. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. Because I'd like to get more of you guys and just build some armies out of you and maybe out of the Templar Knights. And then we go go for like places up here. And then we can always sweep down and actually take these places as well. So we'll end the turn. That's the plan anyway. So I have a, I have a very few, few plans. We either take this area around Cyprus. But it looks like Rhodes is going to be taken and Atalea keeps denying us. We're going to have to send an actual strong proper force there. I possibly should have built some more crappy infantry up. Um, yeah, I might, I might do that next turn. Build some more crappy infantry. Send them over to Atelier. Try and hold it just with the bare numbers because that's the only way we're going to do it. Are you bids? Don't you dare do anything. Yeah, you go back there. I don't know what you were thinking going into the sea there. I could do with building a fleet possibly because a fleet would be kind of handy just to be able to then, I don't know, patrol this area. Keep it under control. But I could afford it. Whether I really want one now is uh, is another question. Might wait until um, uh, Acre and Fam Famagusta themselves are actually a bit more prospering. Um, who is Adelaide? I don't know, but I'm going to I'm going to intervene. There you go. I've intervened. There we go. We've recruited some stuff. We've made a cattle herd. Um, I could do one here. I really want the growth, to be honest. I think I'm going to get it next turn. Growth next turn, 28. Uh, growth required for population surplus. Yeah, I'm going to get that. Um, I No, I don't really want to expand that cattle herd. And we're going to be a while till we get the next population growth. So, I'm going to build some more terrible infantry. So, I'll have 15. So, I'll be able to certainly overwhelm a decent amount of troops. Um... So how many units do you have here? One, two, three, four. Like you have about two, four, six, eight, ten there. Um, yeah, Rose is definitely going to fall uh, because I think the Empire of Nicaea is dealing with a lot of problems, including actually no, it's held off Trebizond. Interesting, but it is probably not got any armies around. I don't know, but it def I don't think it can hold out against eighteen. Though their integrity is pretty low. So I think at this there will be a mutiny in nine turns. Yeah, they probably are going to like rebel. Is that is that army? Um, okay, there's that's the army that's just landed again. I was a bit worried that the Ubis were trying something. I might actually recruit a spy. Oh, I can't. Damn. Um, it requires presence of spe specific building. Okay, what buildings do I need to recruit spies then? That's. A good question. Um, let's have a look. I imagine it might be... It could be in Crusader recruitment. It probably might be in... Yes, here we go. Oh, no. Eh. Agent recruit experience plus one. They have experience, but that's not actually where you recruit the agents. Um, let's have a look. Uh, public square, you would have thought possibly... Um, possibly, but I'm... So far, okay, here we go. It's enables the assassin, so we need a tavern to get some assassins and some spies. And then I imagine the final one is not here. What is the final one, actually? Yeah. So we've got recruits by priest. Oh, the priest is going to be in a temple 100%. Um, so that's capital religion. And then, yeah, so Catholic church, we can get priests. Okay. Well, I could do with possibly having a church here. Possibly, but... Actually, no, because we're getting Christian influence from the Templar chapter, so I might just go straight for a tavern, because that will help with uh, happiness. I might do that, or I could just really secure Acre with another like military thing in place. Or sanitation could be handy. Sanitation might be handy. I might do that. Get some sanitation going. 
And then that should leave us with one final spot, I think, for um, for maybe military. I don't know. We'll see. If not, then Famagusta is certainly get a military thing and we'll build um, some sort of better infantry over there because I currently can get... I'm missing out on stuff like Dismounted Hospitaller Knights, which I'd like. Um, Crusader Northman, meh, possibly. Um, and that one just kind of gives garrisons. It's not actually providing anything. Though that one actually does provide all the swordsmen. St. Lazarus. That could be kind of handy. And Crusader Inn. Yeah. A Hospitaller Chapel would be kind of nice, though. I can always do the other ones a bit later. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Um, that's kind of something I've been saying all, all episode. We will see. And it is. It's kind of a, it is a bit of a waiting game. I'm still waiting on the whole Roman Empire. I presume they must be around here. If I can see... I must have been able to see them at some point. Like in one of these... Their army must have passed through. And then that, that triggered like me being able to see them. I would have thought. But maybe not. Huh. Who knows then? Maybe they was over here, I don't know. This is fairly near the Holy Roman Empire, so it may have been here that they were like, oh, yep, you can see these guys now. Um, but no, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, unassigned skill for Jean, who wants a wife, I know that. Um, but he is a governor, so we're going to give him governed province, and we're also going to do construction costs. So that will help uh, with his, with just buying stuff and also just tax rate. We need more taxes. That sounds horrible, uh, but we do. To keep this game going, we're going to need to tax the people till there is no more money left in the coffers. And now we go through the everlasting end turn. I mean, I do love having the amount of playable factions there are and the amount of factions that there are in this game, but this is possibly the only drawback. But it's not that bad. Since I can't see many factions either at the moment, so the Ubids. I also, it's kind of good to see what the Ubids are doing. So they sent their army off somewhere. I'm presuming it's gone straight off here and probably to Damascus because it's not going to Jerusalem. Homs is definitely, I think, the most viable target right now. It's the wrong direction, but it is the most viable target for taking because it doesn't seem like there's much activity unless they're going around. If you follow my cursor, going like around here and then up to Homs, but they. Seems to just go straight through my lands earlier, anyway. Population surplus in Accra. Excellent, right. See, I could just do... I think I am going to do what I said and just build a... Um, oh, what was I going to build? A leprosy. Something that helps with leprosy. I'm pretty sure there's one, isn't there? Well, it's called like a leprosium or something. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's different for these guys. Let's see then. Any of these help? Oh, okay, no, it's a ca it is the Catholic Priory that it's helping with. Um, with these guys. So I might just go down Catholic Chapel. I don't know. That helps with replenishment and public order, which is great, but that does help with sanitation for the province. Um, any of the others help with sanitation? I doubt it. I imagine they actually probably do worse for sanitation. Yeah, I think so. Um, and then juice. This one's the only other one I could think that might help with that, but it doesn't. Um, and then these. Any of these help with sanitation? I doubt it. I think these again probably are just all going to be. Yeah. Oh, actually, no. That could be high enough handy then. So that's sanitation and it helps with. That. I could do that then. I might do that. I might do a pilgrimage center, another one. And we do have a final one, so we could put a church in here. Yeah, I might do that then. Build a pilgrimage thing, get the order swordsman, and you get the sanitation. That's pretty handy. Um, yeah, so we get a garrison of one order swordsman, and then we get order cavalry. And we get sanitation. And But it does take a cost of food and money. But I'm kind of fine with that for the moment. We can always either put uh, something in for sanitation, or we can always put a blacksmith in or an arsitan for economy. So we'll see. Um, but I am going to try another push for 
I don't know. Am I going to try another push for uh, this place? I'm not really sure. 15 may be enough. Uh, 18 certainly will be enough. So we will we will try 18. And then we'll end the turn. And we'll see whether we can take Atalea in the next turn. And then we'll probably wrap up the episode there. Um, whether I do apologize. It's not been a battle. It's pr been pretty uneventful. But we are trying to just wait. I'm trying to get... Uh, for the Crusaders to arrive. I am also um, trying to get through the turns as quickly as possible. Here we go. Who is this? The Empire of Nicaea. I will join the war for the money. Yes, yeah, sure. I will join the war for the money. Let's see. Well, can we do it? Can we get a cheeky little seat? I mean, it looks like Antioch's actually going to try and take Matalea, or I think that's what it is. Mal Malatia? I don't know how you say that name. It's not Matalea because it starts with an. It has an L there. Malatia, 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 Malatia definitely sounds about right. A food shortage in Accra, though, so we might need to actually. Oh, and they found the county province or Provence. We may need to build that. Uh, yeah, we may need to build this cow shed now. So I'm going to build the cow shed just out of needs. Needs must. Um, right, so we've got, we're definitely going to have enough troops now for um, for the to take on Atalea or Atalea, yes. Uh, Jean has, uh, has leveled up, I think. No, one of them leveled up. Was it Pierre? Yes, Pierre, that's the one. Um, I'm going to do... This helps with public order. I might just do that. And then I'm going to do taxation again. There we go. So that'll be good. Our dominion's not great. Measure of influence I have over my people. That is not great at all. Um, well, I need to start attacking some people and getting some good stuff. I mean, the king's army here is not great. It re really could do with an upgrade, but... Uh, not much I can do about that right now. Oh, here we go. We can recruit a load of stuff now. I thought that might have to wait till next turn, but actually no, because oh, because of our castle, of course, the castle has been built. Um, I am gonna build some. Don't know. <laughs> I could get better uh, archers, possibly. I could just get. I have already got some Poulain knights in this army. I've got a lot of cavalry in this army. I'm gonna put some. Dismounted Poulain. Oh, these are pikes. Don't know if I really want pikes. Um, no, I might wait and just hold on and just get the Order Swordsman. I, I might put pikes and stuff in this army. Um, we'll see. We'll end the turn and we'll see what, what happens. And we need to sort of that food shortage, shortage soon. Um, there's also now an army at Rhodes. Um, I may just try and... I might sneak in and try and take Rhodes that way. If they're not going to defend Atalea... Um, then I might just try and sneak in and take roads. Oh, they did actually push them off. And this is also a rebel faction, I've just realised. That's not a, uh, that's not the normal Nicaeans, because I would have otherwise had a red circle around that. Interesting. Where did the Sel- Oh, the Seljuks have not, not also defended Atalea, so I wonder whether we could take it. Maybe they're threatened by Antioch in the north? I'm not sure. But, I mean, the Ayubids also haven't attacked either yet, so, I mean, touch wood. We keep them out for a little longer. I mean, God, I hope so. Actually, I don't know if the Ubers have been up yet. Defensive alliance. Yeah, sure. Okay, you can have that. I'm not going to complain about that. I think we're well, yeah, we're well past the Ubers. We're on to the far east, and there we go. A Ubers sorted. A noble birth, Henry. Yes, we finally have a boy. You're a di oh no, that's because you're now a, an aged girl. Yes, we finally have a boy, Henry. Thank the gods. Um, I'm going to go for the Seljuks. And I'm going to try and... I'm going to... I may leave this for the next episode. I may just leave this for the next episode. I might... Does the night attack help us? The night attack does not help us. I may... Uh, I don't know how we're actually going to take the city. I'm going to maintain the blockade. 
Or I could go for roads. Ah, actually, no, yeah, going for roads is a lot better. Let's break off the attack. And let's attack roads. Let's take roads instead. This is a lot of a be a lot better chance. Um, let's just let's be aggressive, decisive victory, uh, and we'll occupy roads. There we go. We have taken a city. Um, I'm also now going to. Um, I'm going to destroy. I can't repair anything. Oh, I can repair that. Why can I repair? Um, I'll destroy this and I'll destroy this there we go perfect we have food well we have a food shortage for one turn um, whether that is actually going to really affect us who knows and um, we will have a lot more food in another turn as well and we also will be able to get a hospitaler chapel soon hopefully which is my next aim to get um, I imagine I can put a governor in charge uh, let's have a look um, family governors. Yeah, I can put someone in Rhodes if I wanted to. If I had the money, of course. If I had the money. But he also now... We have now... Uh, our general now has... Our king now has some sort of... Uh, I don't know. Not gratitude, but he has some sort of influence now. Which is perfect. A perfect way to end the episode. So if you guys have enjoyed, then please leave a like and subscribe. Uh for more 1212 content. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.